I always wanted to be Jigglypuff, you know, when I was a kid. That was a Pokemon I wanted to be. Well, that's going at the start of the video, <laughs> innit? <laughs> Hello and welcome to CGN Games, and we thought we just had to do a video on this because we are so excited. So this is our big sort of um, Pokemon Let's Go preview, if you like. So we I say preview, we're not like going to be playing the game obviously but we're going to be talking about like what we're excited about we're going to be mainly talking the reason i want to do this the mainly is because this game seems to be made perfectly for jody so i'm a hardcore pokemon fan i've been playing it pretty much every single one every single year jody not so much but this game seems to be the game she's like, like she's like the poster child for pokemon let's go it's amazing so yeah we're gonna be talking about what we're excited about what we're not and um, so yeah we're just gonna get straight into it so i want to address the Jody portion of this first, because this is the main reason why we're playing it. So, to give you a back, bit of backstory on what Nintendo's hoping for for this game. So, Nintendo okay. are basically, let's be honest, they've made this game to try and bring sort of casual Pokemon fans from Pokemon Let's Go. Play Pokemon this Go. game. Pokemon Go, sorry, yeah. Into Pokemon Let's Go. Um, I really... The names are going to get mixed up with me, I thought. Never mind. Yeah, it's okay. But, um, but they want those guys to come over, play Pokemon Let's Go enjoy that be introduced to some of the mechanics of pokemon like normal hardcore pokemon games and then next year when they bring out the next generation of pokemon games they want them then to then be fully immersed into them and be part of that whole pokemon community jody does this is has this little strategy that they got do you think it's going to work on you is that has this been made for you what is your opinion on that why are you excited about this game i i'm excited about this game it's because on the old ones, because of my eyesight, on the old ones, especially the black and white ones, like I just couldn't play them. Yeah. Like, and reading was just dreadful in general anyway. So mm -hmm. trying to read on black and... It wasn't even like black, it was like black and the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so so trying to do that. So that just put me off altogether. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've never played it. Because you were really shocked when when I told you. And then you were like... That, but you had the, that you'd never that you, played a Pokemon game. Yeah, before. and that, you, that I had the Pokemon Game Boy. And mm -hmm. you were like, oh what happened um so then i explained but then like now i think because after playing pokemon go and it's like so much easier because like, it's colorful it's easy to see and bigger you're not having to, and it's bigger screen and you're not you're not having to like run around and try and work things out mm -hmm. uh, it's just literally you go you find a pokemon you catch it i think that's boss i actually think that's that's great because <laughs> i don't have to worry about <laughs> health going down on something or yeah. something like, i just literally go maybe battle in a gym and i'm yeah. done for the day and I think with this game, I think it's going to encourage a lot of people to get into it. Not just me. I think I'm going to get into this. And this is going to be start of something major. That's that's what I think. I'm excited about that. <laughs> I know. Excited. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I've always wanted to be part of that Pokemon community. But because of their problems beforehand, mm -hmm. I just couldn't be. And I even attempted to try and do a 3DS. And I just couldn't do it because of the screen size. That's technically there. Well, for not thinking about disabled gamers, but I'm just. So you just wanted saying. them to do a 3ds XXXL. Yeah. So you wanted the screen to be about this big. Yeah. <laughs> I I'd be up for that. Like it's one of them, isn't it? Like I mean, even that's what's great about the Switch is when you plug it in, you can put it on a massive screen. Yeah. And then when you're in bed, you can take it off and, and play it's, it. In it's your big hand. enough. Aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Because I just I literally just sit like that. It in front of my face, so it, it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. So, so I don't have so, the question. So you played a lot of Pokemon Go on obviously your phone. Yeah. What? So if you'd never played a Pokemon game before, what got you into the mobile version? What got you into that? It's because I watched all the programs. You watch? So you watch the TV program? Oh yeah, I love the TV programs. Like, I I was obsessed. I <laughs> at some points people would say it was dangerously obsessed. <laughs> Because I was like, Nan, I want the Pokedex for Christmas. I want this for Christmas. I want that for Christmas. Because I just wanted the Pokemon, the Pokemon lifestyle because of that. The Pokemon lifestyle. Honest, <laughs> I wanted to be like a Pokemon trainer. I wanted to be like Mr. Pokemon trainer. <laughs> so that was, that was what I wanted to do as a kid. And then as the games came out and we realised actually, Jody, you can't play them. It was like devastating to me. So to have this now, it kind of opens everything up and yeah. makes life a little bit easier. Okay, it makes more sense why you're excited about it now. Because yeah. you might think like, you've never played a Pokemon game before, why are you just suddenly excited about this? But that's the thing that with Pokemon Let's Go, obviously it's based more on the TV show and Pokemon Yellow and things like that. Yeah. So 
you'll be able to just experience, yeah, just experience it all over again. Yeah, so that's, that's the thing. It for a lot of people like me, who have been playing Pokemon for a very long time, played almost every every series. Like we just kind of have to accept that this game isn't necessarily made for us. So there's, I mean, I when I say I'm a hardcore Pokemon fan in terms of like I've played them all and I've really enjoyed them all, but there's people who are way more hardcore than me, and there's yeah. all the weird stuff when it gets into hatching eggs and breeding and just weird stuff that I just don't. I can't be bothered with. I just cannot be bothered with. And there's those people who play Pokemon Go as well. Um, but obviously this game is made because Nintendo want to bring that humongous player base from the mobile game into into this yeah. so that next year, when they bring out the hardcore mainline Pokemon game, it's going to be a bit easier to transition to. Because there is, there is a lot of elements to the mainline Pokemon games and it is. It, I think that's been part of the problem is they've added so much to it that it's got a bit more overwhelming for people who've never played Pokemon before. Yeah. So this is a nice way to get you get the little basics down so that when you go into the game next year it's a little bit a yeah. little bit easier. But yeah, but for me, for somebody who has played Pokemon for years and absolutely love it, I've got a whole lovely shelf over there dedicated to Pokemon. I've got all the old games on there. I've got even got the old sticker yes. album. Yes. So I mean, think about that sticker album, Jody. I was devastated because I don't know where the original one went that we had. Yeah. And we, so, but then I found on eBay. This was before Pokemon Fever came back, and they put the um, old games on the 3DS and stuff. I uh, I found it on eBay, like pretty cheap, and it was complete. So I just got wow. it, and I'm like reliving the childhood memories. I know. There. Do you remember so, collecting all the Pokemon cards as well? Yeah. Oh, I love them. All of mine got robbed, so I had to remake yeah. my collection. My name <laughs> threw mine away. <laughs> I was devastated when I found out the Pokemon was coming back. Uh, in. So yeah, and so I'm I've been on the Pokemon fan train for a very long time. But um, but for me, I'm not bothered about, like, because there's a lot of people who are, who are really annoyed that there's no, like, so in the older games, you would, you know, you're going to tall grass, you come across wild Pokemon, you'd fight yeah. them, you'd try and get the health down, and then you'd try and catch them with a the ball. Whereas with now, you're just throwing balls at them like you do in Pokemon Go. So people are really upset about that. And at the start, I was a bit like, oh, that's weird. But then I remembered how much I enjoyed Pokemon Go. And I'm like, I don't know if it is going to be a big deal, to be honest. I think it might yeah. still be enjoyable. So it's going to be a more casual experience, but I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with trying a more casual Pokemon experience anyway. But I'm just, all I'm bothered about is that we're back in the Kanto region. That's where I want to be. I, I actually never, I played a bit of Pokemon Yellow, but I, I mainly played Pokemon Red just a ton. And I played it through about a million times. But I never actually really played Pokemon Yellow a lot. And obviously, Yellow was more based on the TV show than just the normal games. So I'm just really excited that like um, the um, Jesse and James are in it. You've got yeah, the, you know it, they, they base like Brock and Misty more on the character. It's just so much. I'm just so excited to play that because I love the TV shows and I started watching through them again um, while yeah, I was I ill a, a while back. But I'm just excited to sort of relive that nostalgia and i'm really excited to see like how it's going to work in terms of playing with other players like are we gonna is are we just gonna battle online or whatever i don't know uh the pokemon the po is it called pokey park i don't know or pokemon park <laughs> which has replaced the safari zone which is where you bring in all your let's go a uh, pokemon go pokemon i think that's gonna be really interesting to see how that works i'm just really excited i just can't wait it's all about pokemon, it's all about pokemon. It so we're not just getting the game though are we jody what else are we getting we're getting the switches. We're getting the limited edition switches. Yeah. So um, you're excited about that? I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm just pumped. Literally, all my childhood has come back to me <laughs> just by looking at the the game, and I'm just like, I cannot wait. Yeah. To get hold of this. There's game. loads of interesting things as well. So obviously, the Pokeball Plus that you can use, um, you yeah. can use that for Pokemon Go as well. And I, th I believe that you can earn candies and stuff by having a certain Pokemon in it, which is kind of cool. I think that Pokeball is going to be awesome as well. I'm really yeah. excited for they that. They brought out like a charging dock. Have you seen the charging dock for yeah, it? Yeah, it looks pre boss. Pretty odd of that. I, I have. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be really cool. So I, I'm really excited about it. I can't wait for it to come. It's been, it, I think it probably has been my most anticipated game since it got announced. Definitely. It's just going to be crazy. Definitely. It's going to be crazy. I just can't wait for it. I'm, I'm interested to see how long it lasts in terms of like how how quickly i think because because you can bring po pokemon in from pokemon go i'm wondering how quick will it be to catch every pokemon and do all the stuff like it could be a quite short game that's my only reservations yeah. and i'm like once you've caught them all are we done is that it yeah 
This is quite small. I really want them. I hope, I mean, I hope if this is really good, that next year we get the mainline Pokemon and then they bring out, like, Pokemon Let's Go 2, the following year that has, like, the, 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 the they remake region. the second game. Um, and then you, you do all that. That would yeah. be cool. I, it's just a nice... Because that was the Johto jo 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 one. Yeah. See, see. I'm on it. I mean, what I would love even more, which they won't do because of just how it will work, but I would have loved them for this to be, like, more like a service game. So, like, maybe every year or every two years they just add another region to the game. That'd be and you can just travel between the regions. That would have been... I think that would have been really cool and kind of getting this world of Pokemon type thing. Yeah, that'd be um, sick. They're not going to do that, though, because they'd have to keep... They'd have to... You'd have to download, like, a 10 gigabyte download to add in the whole new region. Yeah, yeah. But that would have just been kind of nice. But who knows where they're going to go with it. If it's really successful, I have no doubt they'll do a similar sort of thing anyway. So, yeah. we'll see. So, I'm we excited. See. So Jody, last thing, what are you what is the thing you are most excited about when it comes to Pokemon Let's Go? I think part of it's just catching Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But part of it's seeing all them old characters like Professor Oak, yeah. like Brock, Mr. James, Jessa, just even Meowth, like <laughs> and and like before we started filming, there was cotton films so we might put it in at some point. <laughs> I actually said I actually wanted to be Jigglypuff <laughs> when I was younger. And I mean, I'm not lying, I want a Jigglypuff. I'm well, not even You'll be lie. able to get so you good. I know. So I, I'm kind of excited for that, just to have a Jigglypuff. Because mm. actually, I don't think I've se Oh yeah, yeah, no, I've seen one, don't I? Yeah, I caught it, don't I? I was going to say, <laughs> I've not actually got one on Pokemon going, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for me, it's just experiencing that region again. Yeah. I love it. I, I honestly would be happy if they just remade the same game every year. In the same place, just update the graphics every time. I just <laughs> That's all I want to yeah. play. Um, so I'm just really excited for that, really. But, I mean, just to have a proper Pokemon game, I say proper in the sense of just like an actual you run out, catch stuff type Pokemon game on the Switch. Because I think, and being able to play it on the big screen... That is going to be really a huge sick. thing as well. I don't think we really thought about that. But like, we've not been able to play an actual full Pokemon game on the screen since like Pokemon Stadium, which was a bit dodgy anyway. Because you put, you'd have to put in the game pack into the controller and then put your Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue or Pokemon Yellow into the cat thing, and then it would come up. It's so weird. Yeah. But it's just not the same. Whereas it's going to be, I think it's going to be really cool, and then be able to just take it off the dock and then play it anywhere. Because obviously, like we said, um, I think it was back in. The late night gaming show, yeah. We said that we're going to be away um, three days after the game comes out, and we can just take that off and just carry on playing just it. Can't wait. And then put it back on the screen. It's just really cool, that, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's our sort of very quick sort of overview of uh, Pokemon Let's Go. And just kind of like, I just thought it was really interesting how Jody is just the perfect person for this game. Like, Nintendo should do a documentary of how perfect this is. <laughs> Their strategy for what they want, it's Jody, basically. <laughs> um, but if you want to see loads more Pokemon Let's Go stuff, um, the game comes out on Friday. Well, next Friday. Uh, I think this will be out on the previous Friday. Let's we'll see. I'm going to we'll try see. and get up for tomorrow. But because uh, we're filming this on the Thursday, but it'll be up. We'll the game will be coming out on Friday. We're going to have an unboxing of the um, limited edition console and the game and a bunch of other stuff. Um, we're then going to have hopefully have the review up by Sunday. We're hoping <laughs> it might be a tall order, but we're going to try. Um, so we're going to have that hopefully up on Sunday and a bunch of Let's Plays and stuff. So if you want to see all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell button. You'll be notified of every new video. Uh, you can check that out. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you absolutely hate it, give it a thumbs down. Um, and, and tell us, us why. And tell us why. Let us know what you think about Pokemon Let's Go. And how, on, on the line of excitement, where are you? Are you happy that this is a more casual experience? Are you gutted? Are you just waiting for the next year's game? I don't, let me know in the comments. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you very soon. Bye.